What's going on guys, it's Smitty here and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to make your own phone wallpaper. Um, this will be suitable for your phone of course um, because of the size. Also, sorry if you can hear the cricket in the background, it's somewhere just making this noise. Um, but besides that, let's get into the uh, tutorial. So first you want to get... Um, the wallpaper size. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so these these are going to be the settings you want. So I'm just going to name it custom wallpaper. Um, okay. Then you're just going to get rid of that. So if the settings, um, if you didn't get them down, be sure to pause here and get them down so you, you can get started on here. So once you've got uh the size out here. Um, you you want to go to Google and just search for something. I might search black and white city wallpaper. Um, the reason I searched wallpaper at the end and why I recommend searching is because it gives you a bigger size. So when you drag it onto that, it won't really pixelate or anything. Not that it should, but just so in case. Um. Once you've got that, you're going to want to find a wallpaper. I uh, might use this. Let that load. Internet's been playing up lately, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take to load. <sighs> Come on. Are you going to hurry up or. I would just go to view image and see whichever's quicker. Um, bloody internet's been playing up. All right, here we go. So this seems to be. Oh wow. So yeah. So um, once you've got that, you either gonna want to just drag it to your desktop or save it, um image as. I like to put it on my desktop so it's easier to grab. Or if you want, you can just grab it straight from Google into Photoshop. Um, so I've did that, and it's just basically sized it how I wanted it uh, just fix that up yeah so it's just gave me pretty much what I wanted once you've got your wallpaper since I've got a black and white um, I'm going to want to mess around with it a bit more so I'm going to go here I want to go to gradient overlay then I want to click this one with a transparent ending get rid of the end and I'm just going to want to make it like a gray but light gray a bit of white okay once I've got that done I just want to bring the opacity down to maybe about 25 once I've got that I'm gonna to want to choose the inner glow normal uh, just make it a hundred for now Oh, actually, first, instead of all of that, I'm, I'm going to want to use the rectangular marquee tool. Um, select the whole thing and do Command C, Command V for Mac users. And I'm not sure what it is for Windows, but just drag the effect there. Um, just don't worry about that. That the difference is um, this still has the whole background, whereas what you've just selected is just what's there. So the inner glow won't really work and do its effect. Um, so you, with the inner glow, you then want to select the gradient, and with transparent ending, make sure that um, the white is on the bottom here. And once you've done that, you're gonna want to find like a bit of a light dark gray sort of thing, and you want to put the choke up to nine, and keep the range down. But not too much down. I'd say about 40. Just say so it has that bit of line, and just then put the opacity down to about yeah 39. It will, will make it um, yeah about 36. So as as you can see, there's already been a change. It's a bit lighter here, so. 
might put the gradient down a bit more to about 10. Once I've did that, I want to make a new layer just simply by pressing this next to the um, delete layer. But I'm not going to delete that. Once I've got that done, I want to get a soft brush. I obviously want to make that a bit bigger. I'll just keep it on 121 and grab um, the black paintbrush color and just put it over the cities like so duplicate it put it across merge them together command E just gonna make it like that and put the opacity down just a bit like that once I've did that I want to make another layer grab white make this paintbrush white so you can just barely see it move it enlarging it a bit to put to the top actually no don't worry about that um, once you've did that you then want to go grab your logo what I'm gonna do is just grab my own logo so I'm gonna go to designing Photoshop logos personal stuff and then just grab my 2d logo so I'll just place that there or if you guys have seen my paintbrush tutorial you could just go to your paintbrush fix the size up make the layer choose and just put it there so whichever way is better for you guys but I'm just gonna keep it at that for now I'm then going to change this to black and then re the size of the layer um, call this logo and then I want to just move this to the side so I can see what's happening with the logo I'm gonna put outer glow normal just put it to 100 for now make it black actually I'll put it down a bit more or I'll make it a dark gray actually spread put the size up a bit put the spread down put the opacity down so the logo um, sticks out a bit like that then you just if you can add the simples if you want um, I'm going to use bank gothic md bt medium make it a bit more smaller um, black and then you can just type your name so I'm just gonna do smitty enlarging it like so and then just rotate it make it leveled out more perfect duplicate and then I'll put creates on the end creates and then I'm just gonna easy way is just gonna edit transform flip horizontal and then edit transform flip vertical so you can either put it on that way but obviously it doesn't work so I'm just gonna duplicate duplicate it and do creates and then I'm just gonna put it on the other side put that like there I think I have to fix it again then just move it off the logo fix the smitty bring it a bit closer um, and 
it's then duplicate it or and merge it. I'm just gonna put all of these in a folder like that, and then uh, I'm gonna want to use some um. Hold on, duplicate that after you've did that, and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just make that 2.5, get your eraser brush, make it soft, enlargen it, So it's mainly focused on your logo. You can now, uh, if you want, you can just even around it, erase a bit of the towers, and just merge them together. Duplicate it again. Filter, and then other, high pass, and then I'll be actually might stick to seven. So make it about seven. Okay. Um, change the uh, I'd say just the settings of the layer to overlay so it gives you that strong vibe to it I'd say and then I just erase um, the high pass around the logo so the um, tails would stick up stick out more and I'll put the opacity down a bit to 60 yeah about 60 merge them together and then of course just um, after you've did that, of course, you'd want to either want to add some layer style to it, or you can go to filter, magic bullet looks, and I've got my oh, forgot something. Come on, I like to just duplicate of what I've got there, so it's not a big layer, I'd say out of the frame, save that, filter, magic bullet looks, then finish, you can do whatever magic bullet looks you wish to, I just like to use my personal one, so as you can see there is a big difference compared to here and there, it's just um, if you'd like to you can um, go back to the wallpaper or the background itself, drag it to the top and take off the effects and just watch where the logo is. So I might use the polygon lasso tool from here and just trace around the logo. I'm just going to quickly rush it just to where the logo around the logo, trace around it like what I have did and then turn on the logo and just do command C, command V so you've duplicated the sky and then you'd want to um, just keep it there and to blend in a bit of here use the soft brush if you want and what I'm gonna still continue is fix the sky to where the logo is because you can see it's a bit white still so I'm going to drag that to the bottom and continue to fix where's white. So I'll turn that on. And I'll, I'll just make it easier for myself, of course. And for you, it's just screenshot from here. Not screenshot, just copy the layer. Delete what you've got here. Bring it down and then just work your way from where the logo is and um, what you've got. So I'll use the magic wand tool. And that will copy. Oh, my bad. I've got the wrong one. Click the wrong layer. Magic one tool. And copy whatever's black. Obviously, my logo is there. But it's with the sky and the logo, it's not going to affect much. It's just going to delete where the logo is. And then you're just going to have to work your way from the font as well. Or another way is you just go back to where your font is. Um, command both of them or you've got to do it once at a time 
just com press command and press onto the layer go back to the sky delete that area then come back to your other side command click go back to that layer and delete and then the sky should be there back and should be a bit more effect to this area this is where I mainly focused on not too much on the sky because there wasn't much needed but I'm just gonna stretch this down oh, the, actually that's not needed so I'm basically done here if you want you can after add your own effects and all that um, I've just basically showed you the simple ways um, I'm not sure if you guys would like me to do in depth of what I've done um, if you do just comment down below and I'm sure I could do more and if you do enjoy my tutorials and what I do be sure to subscribe and like so I know you guys are enjoying it if you want more tutorials be sure to comment down below as I'll start forgetting ideas on what to do so just let me know if you do want more so um, this is your boy Smitty I'll catch you guys later